So when I recorded yesterday's video, I had everything working except the serial port. And happily, um, I can now report that the serial port is working. So finally, um, rather than showing you a picture of the board itself with blinking lights, I can show you instead a picture of um, my actually communicating with the board. So this is a terminal program on my laptop, and we can um, connect to the serial port. Okay, we don't see anything here, there yet, and that's because the board isn't turned on. But now if I turn on the board, um, we get the prompt for a little monitor program that I wrote. So I wrote this a um, couple of months ago just using the Simon emulator um, to test out. And so now I'm actually finally able to run it from an EEPROM on my board. So this monitor program doesn't really do very much at all, but it lets us type some commands and um, do a few things on the board. So, for instance, we can um, look at what's in memory. So let's uh, look at the address 1000. Um, and there's a bunch of random things in memory and that's because this um, the, the monitor program doesn't um, zero out memory when it starts up so we get whatever is randomly in there but we can change it now. We can um, put some values in, clean it up by setting things to zero. We have to um, do that um, one memory address at a time, which is a bit tedious, but there you are. Um, we can extend the program later. But now let's have a look at uh, RAM there. Yeah, we've got some zero values. So since we can put things into memory, we can put programs into memory. So let's um, let me just put some things in. We'll put them at two zero zero zero. And this is a tiny program I wrote and hand assembled. Oops, that's not going to work. Um, Here's the last instruction. Uh, let's put a zero break right after it. Okay, let's take a quick look at two zero zero zero. Um, there we go. Oh, made a mistake. So two, there should be one zero, and two zero zero three should be six zero, and two zero four should be zero zero. Let's have a quick look and see if that's right. Um, yes, that's right. So what does this program do? Well, um, it's very, very simple. It's really just one instruction, two instructions. Um, the instruction EE, that's the opcode for the increment op um, operation uh, using absolute addressing. So that means it's going to look um, next in the instruction stream for an address on which that op increment operation is going to work. That address is 1000 in X. Um, the 6502, those are specified in the opposite order in um, Little Indian. So we start with the least significant bits, 00, zero and then the most significant bits, 10, so it's the address 1000. Zero, zero, zero. Um, and then 60 is the return from, uh, from subroutine, so that just means go back to where you came from when you were called. So this program basically looks at the address in 1000 and adds one to it. And we already know what's in 1000 because we um, set it up a minute ago and we made it zero. So that means when I run this program, it should set it instead to be one. And sure enough, it did. And we could run the program again and again. Um, and then, sure enough, it's three. So this is probably the most complicated way you could possibly imagine to get up to three um, in terms of actually having to find the parts and build the board and write the software and poke it into memory one address and one byte at a time. Um, but nonetheless, it proves that we can actually put some software onto this machine and, uh, and run it. So um, this program is terribly, terribly primitive. We'll, uh, so I can now I can start working and making it do more interesting things. In particular, what I really want to do is have it um, be able to upload software from my computer onto the board so that we can run much more complicated programs that I can build with a development environment here on the uh, on the laptop um, and then we can do some much more interesting things. Um, but it's so gratifying to see this finally going.